Hey everyone, thank you as always for being with me. Today I'm gonna do something a little bit different. I've never done a challenge video before and so I thought it might be cool to do a no brush makeup challenge. I have in front of me a bunch of makeup but no brushes at all. The only things I'll be using are mascara and pencil. So foundation, eyeshadow, powder, cream, whatever it is, I'm just gonna be using my fingers. I haven't tried this before. This is my first time doing a full face only with my hands. So let's hope it turns out well and let's jump right into it. So this is gonna be a more neutral everyday look. So I'm gonna start with my foundation first and I'm starting with the Hourglass number 28 primer. This is great for dry skin. Just gonna put a little bit on my finger and just start applying that all over. And onto the foundation. Nine times out of 10, you'll definitely find me using the Makeup Forever HD foundation in 123, which I'm running out of. So I'm just gonna rub that into my hands and just start stippling it into my skin. You'll see me using this technique with sponges as well, like the Beauty Blender is just kind of pressing it into your skin and the warmth between your fingers and your face, just that skin to skin contact, is gonna make the foundation actually look a lot more natural. And just whatever's left on my fingers, I'm just gonna blend down into my neck. Okay, we're ready for the concealer now. I'm gonna be using the Time Bomb Concealer by The Bomb. It's a great everyday concealer, not too heavy. I'm just gonna mix my ring finger in there and start dabbing that under my eyes. Same concept, just kind of pressing it in. And then using a clean finger to blend. So far, pretty easy because I'm using just creams, but wait till I get into the shadows. I really love this concealer. It's just perfect for every day. It's not too heavy, but it still covers really well. And I do have some breakouts here, this gnarly pimple right here on my chin. Just gonna dab a little bit right there. Now I'm gonna move into contouring. I think you might have seen in my last video, I used the Motives Maven's um, Sculpt Series palette in Fire. So I'm just gonna take this color right here with my same ring finger and really lightly, I don't want this to be like crazy contouring, but just really lightly putting this into the hollows of my cheekbones and just blending it out. You gotta be careful not to use too much. And then just a little bit into my hairline as well and blend it out. And then just a tiny bit at my nose just to make it look a little more narrow. Get narrow. <laughs> okay, so now I'm gonna just clean my fingers with my wipe just so I'm not mixing too many colors together. And now I can move on to the blush. I'm gonna use this brand new palette that The Balm just sent me. It is so cute. The colors are perfect for spring and they're all cream. I kind of really like cider up here. So I think I'm gonna go into that. So again, just with my finger, beautiful color. I'm just gonna start dabbing onto my cheeks. And of course it helps to smile. And the great thing with cream blushes, especially a palette like this, is you can mix. So I think what I'm gonna do is mix a little bit of candy in there as well just to brighten up that color. That's so pretty, I love that. Once again, I'm gonna take that makeup remover wipe and just clean my fingers because we're about to get into the eyes. Ooh, one thing I forgot was to uh, set my under eye concealer, so I'm just gonna take my NYX blotting powder and since I've cleaned my fingers with the makeup remover wipe, I'm just gonna let it dry really quickly. <laughs> Okay, now it's dry, so I'm just gonna take my finger. So with this one, you definitely wanna make sure you're only pressing and not swiping, because that way you're just gonna mix it with the cream and you definitely don't want that. Cool, now we can move on to the eyes. So surprisingly enough, I still haven't used my Sigma Warm Neutrals palette in a video yet. I use it a lot and I love it, but I just haven't done a video using it, so that's exactly what I'm gonna do today. I think I wanna start with this champagne shade right here. I think it's called Balanced. So again, I guess I'm a fan of the ring finger for application. I'm just gonna dip into that and just start 
patting it onto my lids all the way up to the crease. This is a nice um, neutral kind of shimmery color that actually you can wear on its own. It's really pretty. So then just with a clean finger, just taking care of all the harsh edges. So now I'm definitely gonna use some of the darker colors, but just like any makeup look, if I'm gonna use dark colors, I wanna start with a neutral, usually medium brown shade on the crease first. So which one of these? I think this time I'm gonna use this guy here at the bottom corner. It's a nice matte brown color. I'm just going to put that into the outer part of the crease and just swipe it back and forth. Now we can move on to a darker shade, and I think I really like this deep plum shade. So since I wanna use less of it, I'm gonna use my pinky this time and just dip right in there. Okay. Now I'm just gonna start at the very outer corner and pat that in. And then just start blending inward. So I start by just patting the color in where I want it and then start blending out. A blending brush would really come in handy right now. And again, for the purpose of not getting too messy, I'm just gonna clean my fingers with this wipe and then I can move on. So I'm liking this, but I wanna add just a little more depth into the crease. So I'm gonna take a similar color, but a little bit lighter right up here and I'm just gonna use that to blend the darker shade inward. So now I think I'm okay with the shadow for now, but I'm gonna start applying my pencil and smudge it out and then see if I wanna add a little more um, shadow. So I'm gonna take my NYX pencil in Jet Black and just start applying at the outer corner of my eye Again, I cannot use a smudging brush, so I must use my fingers. Just gonna smudge this out a little bit. I don't know that that's perfect, but hey, good enough. All right, once again, gotta wipe off the excess product from my fingers. Now I just wanna add a little bit of shimmer to this look, not too much because it is an everyday look, but I'm gonna be using the M Cosmetics Sparkling Shadow Top Coat and the color is called Celestial Sparkle. It's really, it's not, I mean, unless you're using a lot, it's not that like crazy. So I'm gonna take just the very corner of my ring finger and pick it up. You'll see right there. And I'm just gonna dab a little in the center there, dab a little in the center there, a little bit at the inner corners, and then start blending out. I think maybe I wanna add just a little bit more smokiness to the bottom. So I'm gonna go back to the palette and I think I'm gonna dip into this dark brown right here, just with the corner of my pinky. Not taking a lot, just very little. And I'm gonna smudge that into my bottom lash line. You really gotta use very little of this. Got some of it in my eye, but other than that, not bad. Okay, I think I'm ready for mascara, so I'm gonna go for my Ico Black Magic Mascara. A little at the bottom. Okay, now I gotta do the brows, so I'm gonna take my Hourglass Arch Sculpting Brow Pencil. It's two-sided, and it's got the best shape for filling in eyebrows, I love this thing. So I'm just gonna brush them up and do some light filling, nothing crazy. Just like to make them appear a little more full and fill in any bald spots, because I've got a ton of them. Okay, now I'm ready for the lips, and I'm gonna be using actually this palette by RCMA. I didn't know about RCMA. It is a 
predominantly makeup artist line. I don't know about it because I'm not a makeup artist, um, but in the community it's like pretty well known. And they just sent me their stuff to try and their lip palette right here is awesome. I love this. It's very, very pigmented. Um, so I'm going to, let's see, how does my shadow look? I think I'm going to mix these two shades. Kind of a little more of a dusty rose with a more neutral shade. Okay, now I'm just going to top this off with a little bit of gloss from Lorac. But I'm going to put it on my finger too and apply that. And that is it. I think it looks pretty decent. Uh, maybe a little more blending here and there, but overall pretty good. Um, especially the shadow. I'm a little bit surprised that that turned out as well as it did. But again, this is a way more simple look. It's not anything super complicated. It's not like a cut crease with my fingers, you know, so um, this was fun. I like this. So if you're ever in a bind and you have no brushes with you, um, just know that you can do an entire look just with your fingers. I hope you guys had as much fun watching this as I did making it. If you have other challenge requests, be sure to leave them in the comments and I'll take a look. Love you guys and I'll see you next time.